How do we know whether our nation's banks are healthy? Let me explain. The FDIC conducts research about our banking system so that we can all stay informed about this important segment of the economy. One of the outcomes of this research is a report called the Quarterly Banking Profile. Although we don't actually give a grade to the banking industry, this quarterly report card analyzes several key metrics to measure the safety and soundness of our banks. For example, bank earnings. This is how much money banks make. For most banks, the main source of these earnings is from the bread and butter of banking, taking in deposits and making loans. Add in income from other business lines and subtract out expenses such as salaries and rents, and we have bank earnings. Then there's credit quality. Banks report on the condition of their loans, including situations where borrowers have missed a payment or loans for which the bank doesn't expect to be paid back. What's happening in the economy definitely drives credit quality, so we watch this metric very closely. Finally, capital levels. Capital provides protection to banks, allowing them to absorb losses and helping them to continue operating, even if deposits or credit quality declines. The more capital a bank has, generally speaking, the better it can weather a downturn in the economy. And if you ever want to know more about the quarterly banking profile, visit us online at fdic.gov. Hope that explains things.